The refraction of light can be shown using a rectangular block of glass. Remember that refraction is when a wave changes direction as it transmits from one medium to another. Let's suppose we have a glass rectangle to analyse the transmission from air to glass and then glass to air. We direct a ray of light into the block like so. Where the ray is a thin beam of light would be able to see clearly in a dark room. Now we can't see the ray in the block, but if it were to travel in a straight line, then we'd expect it to follow this path and then emerge from this point here. However, we actually see the ray of light emerge from the glass here and then continue at the same angle it entered the glass at. This means that the ray's path must have changed in the glass, so we've demonstrated refraction. But how should we show what's happening inside the block? A ray diagram can be used to show the path of the refracted light through the rectangular glass block. A ray diagram is when we draw straight lines and arrows to show the directions light rays travel. Here, we've already drawn the rays before entering the glass and exiting it. To complete our diagram, we can simply join these two together with another straight line. This is the path of the ray inside the glass. We can also use this diagram to understand how the path is changing. To do this, we should draw the normal to the glass at the point the ray enters it. This is the line that's perpendicular to the boundary. As we can see, the ray is closer to this line after entering the glass. We can describe this as the ray bending towards the normal. Then we can do something similar when the light exits the glass. Again, we draw the normal to the boundary at this point. This time we see the ray has now bent away from the normal, which is why it's back to its original direction. For your exam, you need to be able to construct and analyse ray diagrams showing refraction similar to this one. But what's the best way of describing these directions that the ray travels in? Well, we can describe how the direction of light changes using the angle between the ray and the normal of the boundary. Let's take a closer look at a ray travelling towards a boundary. We'll draw in a normal, which we'll be able to measure angles against. We do this as opposed to measuring against the boundary itself, as it can be difficult to measure against uneven or curved surfaces. The angle of incidence is the angle at which light enters the boundary. So this angle here between the ray and the normal will be the angle of incidence. We can also label this with the letter I. You might notice that this is the same angle of incidence we can measure in a ray diagram for reflection. The angle of refraction is the angle at which light leaves the boundary. So if the light refracts and travels in this new direction, then the angle between this ray and the normal will be the angle of refraction. If the ray has bent towards the normal, then this will be smaller than the angle of incidence. If this ray bends away from the normal, then this will be larger. We can also use the letter R to represent this angle. At GCSE, you won't be expected to be able to calculate a refracted angle for a given angle of incidence and vice versa. But you should be able to identify and label these angles on a diagram. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there!